Hi everyone, I hope you're good guys. Today we're gonna talk about Kick and how to make your own Kick just by using Ableton plugin. Of course, don't worry, the rack is gonna be for free in the description like usually. This video is gonna be part of a two-part series of how to make your Kick. Today is gonna be more focused on how to make the body of the Kick and in two weeks I will make another video more about how to layer Kicks and trying to make a rack more like uh, the plugin like Kick2 or Punchbox. So yeah, the final radius in two weeks is gonna be something like this. All right, so that's what you're gonna get after the two tutorial. And today we're more gonna focus on just the body so to get this kind of kick, which are already pretty fat. So this has been made just by using the Ableton plugin and using operator. So that's our rack from today. Just sh let me quickly show you basically the basic sound design of a kick. So basically a kick, it's a, a sine wave. Usually, I mean, for the 808 kick, it's sine wave, but you can use any kind of wave, but usually in sine wave, playing very low. And just let me add a limit just to make it louder. All right. So if I, all right. And you have to apply a pitch envelope. And you see that you start to get Right, this is kind of the base of a kick. You know, just add a bit of oops, sorry, add a bit of saturation, and you get the idea. So let's have a look inside. Basically, the same principle: operator with a waveform, sine wave, which is modulated by a pitch envelope. Uh, I use operator, and I use the other oscillator to kind of make a frequency modulation just to give another kind of to just to do something different than like the basic 808 kick or something like this and yeah let me explain you all the macro so you get the attack which is gonna control the attack of the amplitude envelope of the first oscillator all right that's cool if you wanna reduce the attack of your kick or if you want something more sharper decay of course controlling the length of your kick the decay pitch con controlling the pitch and then you have pitch attack tune depth and tune which are related to the pitch envelope how i explained you before just let me explain you quickly if you didn't understood how it works so Basically, you have your original frequency, which is here G1, and by I by adding pitch envelope, basically, if I put 100 percent here, you kick your sound when you're gonna play the same note. It's not gonna be G1, but it's gonna be 24 semitone, which is two octave upper, which is gonna be up G3. All right, and this was the original. So. Basically, the pitch envelope, that's what's gonna do. It's gonna bring you quickly your original sound from a higher pitch down to a lower pitch. And here, in this case, the lower pitch is the minus 41, which is corresponding to sustain and the end. So if I put tune, which is the length of the, how fast or how long it takes for the pitch to decrease, you can see it's going from high to low and it's taking one second 12 and if I put shorter it's getting so that's how you made your kick just a little 
tips usually if you made if you have the tune def low it's better to use high pitch and the, on the opposite if you have a lot of pitch envelope amount it's better to use i mean it's no like it's better to use like a lower pitch then you have the waveform which is controlling uh, the original waveform which is modulated here is the sine wave if you want more like 808 but you can i map this parameter because it's cool you can really get different kind of kick by changing the original waveform see and you have accent which is basically the lfo with a oops sorry so to down which is basically just giving a bit more impulse to the kick it's just giving a bit more punch and yes so that's the basic of you see like like this the kick is not sounding very loud very powerful very but then you can add this audio effect file that I've made before. I'm gonna put the link in the description and the link of the video will appear in the corner of the video right now. And this rack is gonna help you really to make your kick sound fat. good thing is just duplicate it and yes just after play with the macro and until You found something you like and then yes you can I have this rack as well I never show you but because it's kind of controversial rack you know it's like kick steroids just buzzing it's not really adding stereo but it's just adding a little extra stuff that I like and then a bit of reverb with this other rack I've made before. And then when you get this, you can just go back to the... And yeah, get something pretty cool. And that's how I made just play this with all the different rack, you know. I basically just do one rack and you see it's exactly the same duplicated three times. No, just the last one is not exactly the same, but and yeah, by trying stuff, you know, adding sat extra saturation, you know, like to make a big fast kick you have to just to try stuff and add saturation, compression, and see how it's going well. And yeah, this one you see, classic kind of 8 way kick. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. Because basically, so that's, you can, I'll create for you some preset. So yeah, that will be available with the rack, some free preset uh, that you can play with. Do not hesitate honestly to get this rack as well because it's really helping to get your kick proper. All right, I hope you like it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Do not hesitate to like and comment if you like it. Uh, don't forget, in two weeks we're gonna see a bit more about how. 
about layering, about how to make a rack like more like kick two or punch box. Thank you guys. See you in two weeks.